Gwinnett County School District investigating how a racist photo fell through the cracks and ended up in the school yearbook. Right now, parents and students are outraged. Our Ayanna Crystal, actually with the question everyone wants to know, how was this approved? Did it get past a set of eyes from a teacher, a counselor, Ayanna? Karen, that's the big question, and school officials need to answer that. Now, there is a lot of debate on social media whether the student in the picture submitted this racist image or if the yearbook staff photoshopped it. But bottom line is this yearbook was approved before it was printed. Oh, my gosh, this is real. And it's like, I can't believe somebody would do this. It's just shocking. The Collins Hill. When students picked up their 2020 yearbook, they were shocked. I had no words. Take a look at the racist photo. It shows a high school senior from Collins Hill High School with a Photoshop image of Martin Luther King Jr. And the student is holding a piece of paper with the N-word on it twice. My God, you let this slip through the cracks. You, you, you're supposed to protect our kids at all costs. And once again, you failed us. The school's principal, Carenza Wing, issued an apology saying they are investigating to find out who submitted the photo and how it was missed before going to print. They're supposed to pre proofread. I thought they were supposed to proofread and everything, but uh, you no, know, it's sad. Khalil Blakely graduated from Collins Hill in 2016. I wasn't really surprised. Uh, things like that has happened in the past. In 2016, racist graffiti on the back of the school and in the football stadium filled with hate speech. The Suwannee High School is made up of 74% of black and Latino students. They need to get taken care of fast because, you know, you got a lot of alumni, a lot of African-American alumni, a lot of, you know, Latino alumni. They're looking at this and they're like, wow, really? Still going on. With the racial tensions high right now, seniors don't want this lasting memory. I've had enough taken away from me already. I don't, now my yearbook is taken from me. I don't even want my yearbook anymore. So it's hurtful, to be honest. The principal telling parents this is unacceptable and they will get to the bottom of this. Now, students will be sent a sticker to cover this racist photo, but parents and students tell me that's not enough. They want a refund and they want the school to reprint the yearbook. Now, this is being investigated and school officials tell me that once it's concluded, appropriate actions will be taken. That's the latest in Gwinnett County. Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.